Well, in today's video, I'm going to be trying out a very interesting defense that is so uncommon to most of you guys. And well, yeah, I've never seen anyone covering it on YouTube so far. Okay, so the name of the defense that I'm about to demonstrate to you guys is the Gundram defense. I guess that's how to pronounce it. And I'm going to challenge two random chess players on leeches to see how this is going to work in a practical match. I do have high hopes for this defense, you guys. So stay tuned and watch up to the end because maybe you may just find yourself a new defense to play against the King's Pawn opening. All right, let's go. All right, so here we go. Pawn to e4, e5, hoping to see knight f3. Yep. So my plan is to go queen e7 and later on d6 and e6. So that's the Gundram defense for you guys. So queen e7 is the main move in this defense. So there we see knight c3. Now it's time to play pawn to c6. Because that's what I said you should do after knight c3. Oh, there we see bishop c4. I think let me go pawn to h6 instead of d6. d6 is the main move, by the way. So pawn to d3. Now d6 comes and bishop e3 by white. I think now it's high time to exchange the light squared bishops. Yep, that's what I said in the tutorial video. You can check that out. We want to keep things very simple. So ki double s, keep it so simple. So I want him to take my light squared bishop, after which I'm going to take back with my queen. That's the whole idea, you guys. And the beautiful thing about my c6 pawn is that it stops knight d5 or knight b5, which is a very good thing. So now let's see what white is going to do. Okay, so there we see bishop takes e6 and queen takes e6. Castle shot by white. Let me go bishop e7, I think. Just developing my pieces that are not doing anything. Next, I want to play knight d7. So d4, take knight d7 now. If d takes e5, I have... Oh, I wanted to check with my d pawn as well. So d5 by black. Let me go queen g6. If dc, I'll take with my b pawn. Oh, that is a blunder. <laughs> so white played knight h4 and I just took the knight. Oh, and they just resigned. Wow, that is so embarrassing. Let me just show you briefly some of the main ideas with this defense. So e4, e5, and knight to f3. The whole idea is to play queen e7 first, not knight c6, which is what everybody plays. So queen e7 is the idea. And after knight c3, I said stop knight d5 by playing pawn to c6 because your c6 pawn will be guarding the d5 and a b5 squares. And from here, we saw bishop c4. And I wanted to play pawn to d6 or simply knight to f6, but I was scared of knight g5 by white, which is why I played pawn to h6, stopping knight g5 in the near future. And after pawn to d3, I went uh, d6. And then uh, look at how my pawns on the queen side are beautifully placed. That's my main objective with this defense. And given a chance, I like exchanging the light squared bishops as fast as I can and take back with my queen. But if the bishop trade doesn't happen, I like putting my queen on c7 to indirectly defend my e5 pawn. And if bishop b3 by white, I was going to take that bishop. I don't mind even if white opens up his a file for his queen's rook. I have queen c7 next and protect my e5 pawn indirectly. I also have bishop e7 in the near future. Knight to f6, castle shot, I mean knight bd7. This must be a very simple opening to play. My queen's knight would later on sit on g6 via the f8 square. Okay, let me challenge another random player and see how this is going to work. But before I do that, be sure to hit the like button if at all you are enjoying this video and do subscribe to my channel if at all you haven't already because that's how you encourage me to keep on making more wonderful videos just like this one. All right, so let's see my next opponent. Okay, so e4, then pawn to e5, knight e3, queen e7, the Gunduram defense once again. So bishop c4 by white, let me go pawn to d6. That's the main move. And I'm planning to play bishop e6 next. So cast short by white now. Bishop e6 makes a lot of sense here just to get rid of the light squared bishop as fast as I can. So this is a great opening, you guys, or a great defense. So hoping white to take yeah, bishop takes, queen takes. And if anything, I can play queen c8. 
or queen g6. So pawn to d4, now I can go knight bd7, I think. Or maybe this can wait. Let me play knight to f6 here. Yep, that's more natural. So rook e1, h6 to stop knight g5. Knight c3 again. Well, pawn to c6. Whenever you see knight to c3, play pawn to c6 to defend or protect the d5 and the b5 square. So a4, play a5. I said whenever you see pawn to a4, always play a5 to stop the pawn advance. Then we see d5. I think let me go queen c8. If d takes c6, I'll take back with my b pawn. Yep. So I'll take back with my b pawn and still prevent knight d5 or knight b5 by white okay so bishop e3 by white let me go knight d7 i think next i'll develop my dark squad bishop and castle short to complete my development which is very important so queen d3 bishop e7 now preparing to castle short and yeah so knight e2 wait can i go d5 and then pawn to e4 double attacking white's queen and the knight on f3 because if anything i have c takes d5 i think let me do that yep oh i was supposed to play pawn to e4 okay now e4 forking the queen and the knight on f3 so i made a mouse slip you guys but fortunately my opponent played pawn to c3 okay now queen d4 i have bishop c5 Oh, my opponent just resigned after playing queen d4, which is a sign of respect. Okay, let me just show you what I was expecting to see. Anyways, so let's go back somewhere around here. So my idea was to play pawn to d5, and if white takes, uh, I was going to play e4, but instead I made a mouse leap. I actually removed c takes d5 which was a mistake. The idea was to go pawn to e4, but anyways, I took and fortunately enough, my opponent blundered with c3, after which I played pawn to e4, attacking the queen and the knight. And after uh, my opponent made his last move, queen d4, I wanted to play bishop c5. Yeah, not to mention that I also had another interesting move, pawn takes on f3. So clearly I was winning this game, but anyways, out of respect, my opponent decided to resign. Okay, let me play one more game before I end this video. All right, so e4, e5, and I'm expecting to see knight to f3, after which I'll play queen e7, that's the whole idea. Oh, knight c3 by white, this may be a transposition. Remember I said, always play pawn to c6, whenever white plays knight c3 to prevent knight d5 or knight b5. So next I'm planning to play, okay, pawn to d6 first before playing queen e7. So bishop c4, pawn to d3 by white, what next? Remember in my tutorial video, I talked about this beautiful pawn structure on the queen side. So knight e2 by white, now bishop e6, wanting to trade off my light squared bishop, okay? Now the idea is to play h6 to stop bishop g5 and to prepare for knight to f6. Next, I'll play queen c7. This is the conjurer defense at its best. So castle short, knight f6. Oh, so you see again, queen c7 plays a very big or a very important role to protect the e5 pawn. Knight g3 by white, what can I play? Maybe bishop c5 check or knight d7 and castle long after playing pawn to a6. Yep, I think that's the... Oh, pawn to b4. That's a free pawn. Yeah, let me just take it. <laughs> so that was just a free pawn. Next, yeah, bishop c5 check and king h1. Let me go a6. Because if I castle short, white might just play knight a5. But I have pawn to g6 anyways. So let me just prevent knight a5 in advance. And now... Okay, pawn to c3 by white. Now I can play a6, I think, and castle long, or just castle long first. I think a6, because the rook might take on a7. Yep, I think that's the way to go. So a6, b4 by white, bishop d6. 
preparing to cast long d4 cast long let's see what's next if it takes i'm gonna take back with my knight and put my knight on c4 that would be a great outpost for my queen's knight queen b3 h5 preparing to go h4 next yeah i saw this move but my easiest reply here can be knight takes e4 and after knight takes e4 by white i can now play rook hf8 yeah this looks good because white's rook on f1 will be left hanging okay now i'm not afraid of knight takes yep so queen takes back that's a free knight so if i take back now i'm attacking the queen if queen takes yep now there's a mate <laughs> so you guys i'm so excited i'm not even going to analyze this game you can do that at your own free time and if at all you enjoyed this video you already know what to do you guys be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if at all you haven't already because that's how you encourage me to keep on making more wonderful videos just like this one and you can visit my website www.casperchest.com and get yourself a free mini course after signing up for my free masterclass. Alright, so until next time.